All right, welcome to my garage for the first time. I've got my daughter here to help. She's a professional photographer, filmer, I don't know. She's 11, so she's gonna kill it. But um, we are working on my 2020 YT Capra Elite in the garage, and we are gonna mount up this beautiful absolute black oval chain ring. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And I'll talk a little bit about why I like running the oval chain rings. So Claire, it's all yours. Okay. All right, so if you have a uh, bash guard like what I do, then you're gonna want to take that off first thing. You just need a couple of tools to do it. You can also pop your chain off and potentially avoid taking your bash guard off. But frankly, the whole thing is pretty easy to do. And I'm going to kind of cheat by using a power tool in order to take mine off because it just, frankly, saves me a little bit of time. Whoa, 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 whoa. The screen turned off. It's Touch the screen. There you go. Yeah, so it'll just stay, <laughs> it'll turn off when it turns off. So. There we go. A little, one of my washers fell. Okay. So this is off. Obviously I turned a couple of these before you guys joined me, but I paused so that I could film myself working. So you're gonna take my bash card off. I'll set that down. It's like a two second job to take that off. This is the super disturbing part. So if you've never taken a dub crank set off before, it can be terrible. It's scary. In fact, I was going to put an oval chain ring onto the Izzo today as well. And I cranked on that sucker and I decided to just not do it. And I'm going to have the bike shop do it for me because um, it's 54 Newton meters of torque. And I put those cranks on myself anyway, the descending carbon cranks that I put on the Izzo, but I can't get them off. And I just got frustrated last night and decided not to do it. So today I came over to this one and I was able to easily break it loose. So generally what you're doing here is you're going to get a nice strong wrench, a breaker bar or something. And you don't want to do this in the bike stand, but frankly, I already broke this loose. And while holding the pedal, you're going to put an immense amount of pressure, immense amount of pressure to loosen this up. You can remove the top cap, but I usually don't find that I have to. So once you've done that, you can just loosen this thing right out and I can even do it with the um, pedal wrench that YT supplies with the bikes. Uh, these will bend. These pedal wrenches from YT will bend um, if you try to use them to extract your crank arms. So that's it. Five second job. That thing comes right off. And then Claire, would you grab me a... Uh, uh, the cleaning bucket or a white shop rag so I can dust some of this off. So then once you're on the inside, you can see it's just three uh, dirty star bolts, same as what we had before. So I can just break these loose with a tiny bit of torque. Uh, Claire, the, the clean bucket's that red bucket right on the shelf there. Thank you. So very, very quick and easy. And um, I'm going to cheat again by using my electric wrench now that I've broken them loose. Maybe obvious, maybe not. I don't tighten with that thing. Thank you. I'll just use this to clean as I go. So I'm switching to oval chain ring. So I used to, previously I rode uh, the Eminent Cycles Haste, which was an amazing bike, had a ton of fun on it. Love the company. Really enjoyed my time uh, with that bike. And um, admittedly, in my opinion, it was a bit challenging to climb on that thing um, compared to basically any other bike that I've ever owned other than maybe my downhill bike, which you can't climb at all. But um, so I started running an oval chain ring there. I used to run the Wolf Tooth and this is my first time running the Absolute Black. So I am doing that because of the fact that I hate climbing. I'm not all about that technical climbing life. Some people are, that's good for you.
but um, because I hate it so much, anything that I can do to make it slightly more enjoyable and slightly less unpleasant makes my life easier. So pretty simple. This is my uh, SRAM dub uh, crank arm. I didn't even take the pedal off because I just don't need to, though I change pedals all the time, no big deal. And then this is my absolute black oval chain ring. Um, it's easier in a way than you would think because you can't really screw it up. Um, it's only gonna, oh, I guess you could screw it up, couldn't you? Yeah, so it's only gonna go on the way that you want it to if you do it properly, which is kind of funny. So if you look at the way that it goes here, you can see that the two of the three holes line up and and so on. So you really have to end up getting it right compared with how the Shimano works. So, hmm, is that how it goes? Interesting. You would kind of expect it to um, be completely different than that, but there we go. It's a beautiful piece of milled or CNC'd aluminum. Yeah, so it can only go on the one way. And I can pop that thing on, put my bolts back in pretty fast, pretty easy. So I immediately noticed the last time that I did this with the wolf tooth, which was an awesome product. Um, the first thing I noticed was that when I was doing a wheelie, I could just, uh, as the front wheel started to drop, I could stand the front wheel back up more easily. Um, just meaning that I could kind of get the pedal around and then put the power in a lot more quickly with the oval. And so, um, kind of fun. And then on climbs in general, the long grindy climb, I definitely notice it immediately. My friends notice it as well. And, um, it's just really, really obvious and a lot of fun. And it's a pretty affordable, pretty quick upgrade to make. So I know that I really breezed over the part where, um, where did I put the torque wrench? I really breezed fast over the part where I took the crank off. Believe me, that is a scary, difficult, stinky, terrible part. Um, it just is the worst, but um, there are a ton of videos about how to do that already. So I wanted to instead just put my focus into how this thing will install, and I know that I just torqued it, but the six newton meters, but I'm just gonna over torque it a little. So that's totally fine. So that's it. Five seconds later, we have really, really fancy looking oval chain ring on here, which I can kind of clean some stuff up while I'm in here um, to get my bottom bracket clean, which, you know, unfortunately YT uses a press fit, which is kind of like a home mechanic like me. It's your nightmare, but, uh, you know, there are worse things. So a little wiping action and then set my pedals back apart and I can just put this guy right back together with this tool. pretty straightforward and what I do I just put it on there a couple threads and then I'll put my bash guard uh, chain guard back on and I'll torque that into six newton meters using my torque wrench as well and then I'm pretty well done that's really all that there is to it so that's it that's how you install the absolute black oval chain ring um, I, as you can see, despite what the instructions say, I didn't take off my chain. I just loosen it up and it'll just go right on there, easy as can be. One thing to note is that sometimes the height of your uh, bash guard, you'll have to potentially adjust this a little bit, depending on if you made a tooth change. Also a pretty straightforward process to do. So you can just um, raise that up if necessary. Bada bing, bada boom, and let's see how it looks. I'll do it before I put this on. 
Beautiful. Looks hilarious to me. But gold, fancy, matches up well with uh, the other fancy parts. I did take my, um, I took my Fox Kashima dropper off of this bike and decided to go full wireless dropper and shifter on this. And I moved the Kashima dropper over to my decoy where it initially came from anyway. All right, that's it. Thanks for hanging out and watching me put on the oval chain ring.